What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations. Last time, we were in the Embassy, when both sides of the Embassy were attacked by the Yalagarasu. We are currently in the Babalese Embassy, where there was a fire and a murder. And we ran to Francisca. And something with jurisdiction and Embassy and blah 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 blah. Trying to figure out how to investigate. That's what we're doing. Well, well, I never imagined that I'd meet you here of all places. This is an embassy, meaning that you have no authority to conduct. Already? What is it? Ambassador Paleno. Hmm? And you are? I'm Miles Edgeworth, public prosecutor. I ask that you please allow me to investigate this case as Miss Von Karma's assistant. Assistant? Miles, what the heck do you think you're? Please, I implore you, Ambassador Paleno. Very well, I'll be counting on the two of you, Miss Von Karma and Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, what did you mean by you'll be Miss Von Karma's assistant? I don't exactly have a choice, do I, Detective? If I don't become Francisca's assistant, I can't participate in this investigation. <laughs> there you go again, running at the mouth of that aloof expression on your face. Francisca, please! I don't know what you're planning quite yet. But at least I do know one thing, that you are now my subordinate. Just remember that my whip is always ready to wake you, should you have a brain lapse. Of course, I'll keep that in mind. If you are done playing games... Right, let's begin the investigation. Babalese, Embassy Secretary's Office. By the way, Detective, I suppose it's a bit late to be asking, but why are you here? Well, better late than never, I guess, sir. I was placed on guard duty for the Babalese Embassy today. And why are our police guarding an embassy? Well, on account of the card they got from the Yadakarasu. They called us up and asked for our help, sir. Oh, and because we've been searching for the Yadakarasu these past seven years. It was more or less mutually beneficial arrangement, if you ask me. Except for how mutually unbeneficial this has all turned out to be, I suppose. It looks like you failed to co competently perform your guard duty yet again. Look forward to your next salary negotiation, although it's out of my hands. But sir, if it gets cut anymore, I won't be able to buy even packed noodle anymore. Packet noodles anymore. Ba 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 ba. So our victim was the secretariat of this embassy, I take it. Manny Cochin. I heard that he was an admirable person. Very admirable. The cause of death is a stab to the base of his neck. He was lax in watching his back. We were fortunate that the fire missed our victim's body for the most part. If the fire had burned a bit longer, it would have made identifying him a hassle. So Mr. Cochin was stabbed to death in the middle of a raging fire. What in the world happened inside this room? Well, vengeance, because, uh, let's see. He, he's responsible for Yuz's sister's death, right? So this is a, a vengeance thing, probably. What in the world happened inside this room? Uh, notes on his body, okay. I won't re- yes, 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 yes. Let's look at that knife. Is this knife the murder weapon? Some preliminary testing has been conducted. According to the results, the blood on that matches the victim's blood. The blade's shape was also found to be consistent with the stab wound. I suppose this means that we now know that the crime was committed with this knife. This knife's got some really fancy ornamentation going on, huh, sir? This thing practically screams, Artsy! at me too! Although, it's also covered in blood, just like the last thing that I said was artsy. Hmm. But the handle is pristine. There's not a single drop of blood on it. Speaking of the handle, I believe it was a butterfly motif. It's very beautiful. Hmm. Ba 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 ba. Ba. It's a knife wound. It's obvious that he was killed- uh, what he was killed with, but I wonder if it's consistent with the wound. Indeed. Okay. Hmm? This man. Where do I know him from? See, I thought his memory was good. He's just gonna- ugh, Come on now, you remember. Oh, what's this? 
There appears to be something in his pocket. It's the key! It's the key that turns into a knife! It can't be! Isn't this the Yadagarasu's key that was stolen seven years ago? What? But that's... Huh? Seven years ago? You mean that case where I was framed, sir? Yes, it's the piece of evidence that stole the life of Kay's father seven years ago. Which was then stolen by Callisto Yu. What? Mr. Faraday was killed with this key, sir? I thought he was killed with the knife. Scruffy, at the very least try to remember the details of crimes you were the suspect in. Francisca, as you will recall, Detective Gumshoe was not present when Miss Yu made her escape. Plus, even among law enforcement, only a few knew of this key's existence. I doubt that a new rookie at the time would have been made privy to such knowledge. I feel like the victim right now, all trampled on, sir. I suppose I'll just have to fill you in now. The secret to this key is... How do you, how do you, isn't it at the bottom? Hold on. It's, uh, yeah, there it is. Hold on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, hold on. There we go. Shadaisy. Oh, that's amazing, sir. It's like some kind of magic trick. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. <gasps> A flower symbol. I knew it. This is the same exact piece of evidence that Miss Yu took with her. I remember this beautiful pattern in the blade. I remember this as well. It's a vine motif, isn't it? Yes, it looks like the... Oh, looks like two interwoven vines crisscrossing down the blade. Vine, sir? I think it looks like a bunch of stars, if you ask me. It's one of those six-sided stars, just like the police mark on our IDs. I really don't think you can call these stars. To say that the detective's art sense is underdeveloped would be an understatement. The real question is, why was the Babalese Embassy secretary holding this? While we don't know how Mr. Cochin came to possess this key, we do know that this was stolen by the Yadagarasu from the Kodopian Embassy. That's right, Mr. Faraday had written the fact down in his organizer. I believe this means that further research is required into the country of Kodopia. Why don't you... Why don't you ask Ambassador Paleno about what he knows? Supposedly he was a candidate to be the next Kodopian ambassador once long ago. He should be able to answer any specific questions you may have. Hmm. Ba -ba. Is that it? That might be it. I think that's it. Let's talk to the guy now. Wait, there he is. He's still got his hands together. Weirdo. <laughs> Try to start a fire? I can't believe that Manny fell among thieves tonight. Without him, I have no idea what my schedule for tonight is. Ambassador Polano, I believe your schedule tonight will consist of... Listening to reports from the police. That and only that. I ask you to cooperate not only for your own sake, but for Mr. Cochin as well. You're a rather strong man, aren't you? How fascinating! He reminds me of Gaston. Here I know it isn't much, but I'd like you to have these. I'm sorry, but it would be against my principles to accept a bribe. Oh, no, no! These are simply coupons we distribute to promote Babal. Remember, we offer a large number of discounts and offers when you visit lovely Babal. Now I remember. The Republic of Babal is known for its feverish tourism industry. I was wondering if you might tell me a bit about the deceased Manny Cochin. He was my secretary, and the embassy's secretariat charged with running the whole place. He was an admirable man. His death is a great loss to our country. He was in charge of everything. Accounting, printing, taking care of our national treasures. I'm sorry, but did you say printing? Our country's primary source of revenue is our tourism industry. So, in order for us to print the necessary pamphlets, flyers, coupons, etc., so he's like a FedEx Kinko's. Oh wait, no, Kinko, it's, Kinko's is no longer called Kinko's. It's FedEx office, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone ever, still goes to print centers. We have a printing press here at our embassy. I see. 
Please excuse my forwardness, however. I feel I should mention that I have the distinct impression that I've met him before. Oh, yes. Since you are of the legal profession, I suppose you just might have. After all, Manny was involved in the KG-8 incident. The, the KG-8... The defendant who was found innocent at that, uh, in that case was Manny. So your Mr. Cochin is the same man as the one in that case. It's been ten years. Manny recovered personally from that case and dove enthusiastically into this job. He was the one who planned this event and was to oversee the embassy's renovations. It really is a shame he had such a bright future ahead of him. What exactly did you mean earlier by renovations? We can't have tourists and visitors to our embassy think we're a poor nation, can we? So, renovating the embassy is something of an investment. We may have a rather paltry budget, but we're trying our best to make do. However, I guess the only person who could have helped us do our best is now no longer with us. Ambassador Polano, I was wondering if I may ask you about Codopia. Codopia? Alright, what would you like to talk about? First, I'd like to ask you about this key. Hmm? What about this key? I found it sticking out of Mr. Cochin's pocket. I believe it originally belonged to this embassy, is that correct? Hmm. Upon closer inspection, it seems that this key is shaped like a butterfly. That's not all about this key. It's also capable of changing into a knife. Ooh! How fascinating! Is it possible that the ambassador didn't know about the existence of this key? In its knife form, there is a flower mark at the base of the blade. Hmm, I guess this knife might be from when we used to be a part of Codopia. And how did you come to that conclusion? It has both of Codopia's national symbols, the butterfly and the flower. I suppose Manny used this key here at the embassy back when we were still Codopia. Ambassador Polano, this key was stolen from the Kodopian Embassy seven years ago. By Callisto Yu, otherwise known as the Great Thief Yadagarasu. Oh, really? You were not aware that Miss Yu had broken into this embassy at that time? I'm sorry, I can't be of much help. I'm not very familiar with the details, you see. I only became the ambassador after Babal became its own independent nation. But if Manny were still alive, he'd probably know about what happened back then. Mr. Cochin and Miss Yu knew each other seven years ago. But that doesn't explain why I found the Yadagarasu's key here in the present. Hmm. I could try presenting something, but what is there? There's the knife and the embassy guy. Let's try the knife first. Oh dear. If people were to find out that a murder occurred at our embassy, the number of tourists would plummet, as would our revenues. It'd be a disaster. What are we going to do? He really does seem worried. Perhaps I should refrain from bringing this up. Alright, let's try the embassy guide. Oh, isn't that about our great embassy? Ah, oh, how do you like our pamphlets? I feel indifferent about them, to be honest. I'm just using this as evidence. Oh, that's too bad. In that case, I guess we'll just have to try harder to make more charming ones. I just had a flash of inspiration. We should make all of our pamphlets into coupon books. His expectations of what a coupon can do is just a tad hyperinflated. Let's see. Notes on his body. Oh, no. This is the... Yep. And there's the autograph. Let's try the autograph. Ambassador Polano. I was wondering if you might have some... Wait. Nope, he doesn't know about this either. Okay, he offers the coupons again. And we decline. Well, we already tried the key. We can present it again. Nope, the key, uh, the coupons again. Alright, that's it. That's everything. Okay, what are we left with here? I swore there was an examine thing somewhere. Here it is. The ceiling fan must have fallen from the ceiling. No way. A ceiling fan? What does one of those do? Exactly what it sounds like it does. It's a fan that's installed on one ceiling. Well, if I had one of those in my room, I bet I'd go dizzy from staring as I, uh, at it as I slept. 
Detective Gumshoe, in the real world, we close our eyes when we sleep. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's still being held. Okay, are you alright? You believe me, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? You don't think I did it, right? Of course I don't! And I promise to prove that it wasn't you. That's enough chit-chat. You can investigate all you like, but it's only a matter of time before we take her in. It would be wise of you to give up while you can. No, I don't think so. Kay isn't lying, and my investigation will prove that to be true. Go ahead and try then, if you're that confident. I can't allow this to continue on this way. I must prove her innocence post-haste. Hey, it's another butterfly. I believe it's the symbol of the Republic of Babal. We're getting a lot of logic here. A drawing this big on the wall of an embassy. It definitely conveys a sense of overwhelming patriotism. Well, I got a lot of patriotism too, sir. The reason I became a cop in the first place was because I want to protect our country. You may want to, Detective. However, I have yet to see the fruits of your desire. You don't have to be so blunt about it, sir. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Mr. Edgeworth, there's still something on this display rack, sir. <gasps> a blade is missing. Knives, huh? Although the blades are all that remain of them, unfortunately. I guess the handles all got burnt off by the fire. <gasps> so even the knives fell victim to the fire. Ambassador Polano, are these knives yours? Why, yes they are. They are a special set of ornamental knives featuring the national symbol of Babal. These butterfly-themed knives, along with the Alabest's own set of knives, are comprised of three knives each. But, but I can't believe the Babalese ones have been reduced to this state. Hmm, ornamental knives, huh? There's a small release on the tang of this blade. Ambassador Polano, what is this notch here for? Oh, that! It's a feature of these knives wherein you can freely exchange the handles on them. So that we can change how they look to fit the situation, of course. I see. So these knives were constructed so that the handles could be easily removed. Oh, that's gonna be really important. Because there's, there's a set of these in the other embassy too, right? Oh, we gotta remember that. These shelves are lined with American souvenirs and memorabilia. It's really strange, isn't it? I mean, I thought this was the Babalese Embassy. So, uh, why are there so many American souvenirs, sir? Perhaps the Babalese are studying American culture in our tourism industry. If they have plans to make the Babalese tourism industry truly flourish, then they would need to observe and study other countries' methods, I suppose. Speaking of tourism, I got these from the blonde guy earlier, sir. He said that if I bring these with me to Babal, I can trade them in for a few buffets. Oh? So how do you expect to travel to Babal? Well, the whole world is connected by the ocean, sir. And for an all-you-can-eat buffet, I'd swim all the way to Babal if I have to. Can a few simple coupons really motivate people to do such fantastic things? Let's check the clock. It looks like this was once a grand-grandfather clock, but it has fallen victim to the fire. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, is it okay for me to talk about the clocks in my house, sir? If they're unrelated to the case, I hope that you'll refrain from sharing, but... Well, there's this one clock that I made by myself, but that's- Oh, that's quite enough, Detective. We can still talk to Francisca, and there's also this monument here. Because this is a national treasure, can I ask that you please not touch it? I'm afraid the only ones allowed to touch it are myself and the Secretariat. But there is a possibility that it is related to the murder, wouldn't you agree? Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, why don't we give it up for now? Oh, why don't we give up for now? We can force them to let us investigate it later, when we find some solid proof. I suppose they don't have a choice here. This must be one of the prima duck statues Kay was talking about earlier. Is it just me, or does this man look just like the Steel Samurai? They could be twins. Uh, what else do we have here? A safe! A small personal safe. This was Mr. Cochin's office. So perhaps he stored his most important documents in here. Ah, of course it's locked. It appears we won't be able to open it without the key. 
Ooh, the Yanagarasu key, huh? Yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. And we'll get to that in the next episode. So stay tuned for the next one. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.